Hi, thanks for stopping by again. I've got a story today, just a little short one, uh, that's going to talk about, get that up there, my ninth great-grandparents, and this is one of the original romance stories in the American continent. Uh, I guess we can say the American colonies. This is the story of, we'll start with Priscilla Mullins. Priscilla Mullins was born in England and was one of the original passengers on the Mayflower. And she was about 16 or 17 years old when she came across with her mother and father and I think a couple other of her siblings uh, to the American colonies. Now, that first winter of, uh, I think it was 1621, um, all of Priscilla's family died uh, in, the, in, the, in the colonies. But rather than return to England, where she still had another brother and a sister living, she opted to stay in the American colonies here at Plymouth. And we lose track of her for about two years. We don't know where she lived, we don't know who she stayed with, and we don't know what she did. But after that, a couple of years later, she married a man, well, let's, I'm getting ahead of myself. There were two men, actually let's go back to the Mayflower. On the Mayflower there was Captain Miles Standish, a man by the name of John Alden, and Priscilla Mullins and they all arrived together uh, on the Mayflower. And shortly after the death of uh, Miles Standish's wife, um, Standish was described as a blunt old captain, a man not of words but of actions. And this is according to a poem called The Courtship of Miles Standish uh, that was written by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, who was also a direct line descendant of uh, Priscilla Mullins. And um, he took a liking, Miles Standish did, took a liking to Priscilla Mullins, who was described as the loveliest maiden in Plymouth. Now, although Standish was very fearless in battle, um, he was too shy to confront Priscilla directly, and so he went to his young friend, John Alden. The soft-spoken Alden was described as being fair-haired, azure-eyed, with delicate Saxon, com Saxon complexion, having the dew of his youth and the beauty thereof. Uh, again, that's from Wadsworth's poem. Um, after Alden had pleaded the case of Captain Miles Standish, Standish to Priscilla, Priscilla said, Why don't you speak for yourself, John? And it was clear that Alden and Mullins were in love, and they were afraid of offending Miles Standish. However, not long after, Miles Standish went off to fight Indians, and they received word that the captain had been killed in a battle. That meant that Alden and Mullins could then be uh, agreed that then they got married. Um, theirs being one of the earliest romances of the American and actually the third recorded marriage in the American colonies. Um, and at the end of the wedding, Standish, who had not been killed after all, um, appeared and seeing what had happened, he gave the newlyweds his blessing and asked their forgiveness for his previous behavior. Uh, John Alden and Priscilla Maldens, or Priscilla Alden, John and Priscilla Alden, um, were my ninth great-grandparents. They went on to have actually 11 children, and along with Miles Standish, who married another woman, moved and settled the town of Duxbury, Massachusetts. And although the actual burial site of Priscilla is not known, there is a monument, uh, a memorial uh, marker there in Duxbury, uh, Massachusetts now. So that's the short little story. Um, the uh, the L Longfellow's poem is called The Courtship of Miles Standish, which basically lays out the rivalry between Captain Standish and John Alden, uh, who uh, I guess it's good he won out and were his direct line descendants. So hope you enjoyed that. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.